Good evening from a happy College Park, Maryland, over Northwestern, 76-67, on a night when Maryland increases their Big Ten lead as Penn State loses. Bruce, Rick, what'd you see out there tonight? I saw 22 points and 19 rebounds from our, hopefully for him, a lottery pick in the NBA draft. Sticks was unbelievable. Jalen was special, Anthony Cowan. 19 points was also special. And then Northwestern, you know, they were well coached. They just don't have the guns. In other words, they, they don't have it. You know, that, that yeah. Boo Booey played very well. They did. But, and Young at center played very well. Not, not well enough. They Pat, competed. Pat Spencer looked pretty good as a basketball uh, player. Pat Spencer. Sir, how about Pat Spencer, right? What a Davis story. Bill kid. Loyola lacrosse. Player of the year, and then he turns in, graduate, transferred to Northwestern, and he just looked like a special athlete out there. Yeah, he looked right at home, made some nice passes, uh, considering he didn't play competitive basketball in college ever before this year. I'm going to ask Coach sure. Collins about that. Right. In the and I game. did, uh, and that video's up on Turp Talk. He talked about him before the season. You should pick that back up. Uh, we, we, we will. Right. Uh, but, you know, he sure would have looked nice with Maryland on that jersey I don't as know. well. I don't know. 22-4 and four and 12-3. and three. And a two-game lead in the Big Ten now right. with Penn State losing. And Listen. how much do you guys enjoy Penn State losing? Half as much as I do. I mean, I love it. He's like that, too. I don't. Although I don't dislike Penn State basketball that much because they've been completely insignificant. I hate the school. I hate their mascot. I hate their colors. I hate their fans. Yeah. I hate the town. Yeah. Do you like Franklin? <laughs> Franklin's okay. All right. All right. So, and you're listening to the Big Dog Post Game Show. I think we really need to get to the stats here. So we'll be back after this commercial from the Big Dog himself. The Jackler's Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. I'm Wayne Viner back here on the Big Dog Post Game Show along with Bruce Bosner and Rick Jacklich. Look, Maryland usually doesn't put 40 great minutes together, but for 15 minutes or so when they're hot, they're fantastic. If they ever put 40 minutes together, well, they probably have 100 points. Look, you were there. Well, what I want to ask you about yes. is you were there at Michigan State the other night. It was when special. They, when they put together a fantastic three and a half minutes and shock that crowd. I've been to a lot of road games, a lot of road games, basketball, lacrosse, everything. This was one of the best wins to shut that crowd down. And then to watch Izzo, who I really like. He's really a good guy. I don't know if you ever met him, but he's a great guy. Wayne knows, knows Very really classy. Well. And, but he was like, he acted like he lost his dog. You know what I mean? Like the world was coming to him. Well, they, the whole game slipped right through their fingers. Just like it almost did in Maryland. Maryland controlled that game in the first half. They're at 15 points. They went to sleep the last three minutes of the first half. But man, oh man, the last three of the second half, how special was Anthony Cowan there? Maybe the best three minutes uh, rivals uh, Vasquez's last three minutes against Michigan State uh, when they uh, lost. Yeah, I, I would guess so. Look, Anthony Cowan's now number seven on the all time scoring list. He passed Don McMillan. Yep. Jalen Smith tonight is one rebound short. The last guy who had a 20 20. It was 1995. Joe Smith, the NCAA tournament, got 31 and 
31 and 21 or 31 and 20. So had that. And was the player of the year in the, in the country. Right. So th this is close to player of the year territory. What's he have to do to get his name up there? Well, he's got to keep doing it. He's got to keep doing it. He's got to dominate. He was very efficient tonight. But I was saying to the people sitting next to me, I thought this was really the first game where Jalen dominated. No, not really the first dominated. game. Not the first game. He's where he was truly dominant. Straight double doubles. I put that down as very efficient, but he never walked out. Nine straight games. Maryland still That's has beautiful. not lost a game when Daryl Morsell has ten points or more. As my the good friend, boy. as my good friend and great sponsor, I'll let you get away with it. All right. <laughs> but here's a better question, yep. real quick. Yes or no? Does Anthony Cowan belong up there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I agree with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. The mere fact seventh. he stuck it out for four years and, and he kept getting better to Big. the point where who knows what he's going to do this year. Who knows? I'd like to see his number right next to his uh, banner for a Big Ten championship. Wouldn't that look nice? That well, would. we're getting close to a regular season Big Ten title. Right. Only two home games left. And before we bring Cordell in, rumor has it as Maryland moves the Michigan State game from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock that we're going to have ESPN game day here Hallelujah. on the 29th of Hallelujah. February. And with that, we'll take one more commercial break and we'll bring in Cordell. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Back on the Big Dog Post Game Show with Cordell. As usual in this spot, we say, Cordell, what would you see out there? I saw a lot of good from Maryland. I saw uh, four guys in double digits today in scoring. Sticks getting his ninth double-double. Cowan, eighth on the scoring list. Just consistency. Maryland's finding ways to consistently win and uh, Northwestern played as good as they possibly could have tonight, um, but you know it's just too much. Maryland's just too much at home, especially. And once they get on a roll, like you said during the game, Maryland doesn't really piece together 40 minutes straight. But man, when they their spurts are more powerful than a lot of other teams. I thought the key part of the game was they had the ball and they had cut it to I think seven, and Boo Booey came down here, came down and chucked up a 30 footer. And it was still two and a half minutes right, left. Right. Maryland got the rebound, and from then it was Katie bar the door. Right. But uh, speaking of bar the door, we have to talk about the lacrosse game today. Well, I didn't see it, but I got a live play-by-play -play from you. 13 to 12, they were losing 38 to 8 Cordell with two and a half minutes left. They Down scored fully, as they always do. But uh, Coach tillman has got a lot of work to do. Too many turnovers. Face-off X is good. The wings have to get better. A lot of things have to go right if Maryland's going to make a run this year. And I want to tell you one thing. Penn State looks, I'm telling you, if somebody looks unbeatable in lacrosse. Right. And uh, hats off. The Terps are now one and a half games up, but two up in the loss column. Uh, Ten and five versus 12 and three. That's a big difference. That All is. Right? Uh, so you have at Ohio State, at Rutgers at Minnesota. You're here with Michigan State and then Michigan, and that's it. Five games Well, left. the magic number is three to at least clinch a tie and four to win the regular season. Well, Which, what do you think about winning the regular season? Would that be oh, unbelievable? Sorry, guys. I, I left one out what? at Ohio State on, on Sunday. Sunday. Right. Yeah. No, I think winning a regular season would be huge, especially considering the start you're gonna have that they ten had on teams, the road. But you're going to have 10 yeah. teams in the Big Ten in the tournament. Yeah. And if you win that regular season, you've got to be no worse than a two seed. No question. Look, just just win. You, you, I'm still stuck on this is, and by the way, I am enjoying this. We're in first place, and this is cool. And I'm still looking forward to going somewhere really great in, in March and into April, guys. We're looking so, at Dante Scott. Yep, He's taken. coming on, isn't he? He is. All right, we have to go catch that press conference. So, final final thoughts on tonight's win. Final thoughts tonight. Win. Catch more info tomorrow. You'll be on tomorrow. I will. All three of us will be there tomorrow at six o'clock on uh, TerpTalk.com and thirteen hundred a.m. in Baltimore. It'll be a great show. Got lots to talk about. We're gonna look at we're gonna look at this baseball thing even deeper. I think. All right. It's Let's getting to be a nightmare. It, An it absolute is. nightmare. All right, we got to right. go. go ahead, Good buddy. evening from College Park, where Maryland takes it 76-67 over Northwestern.